Anderson Manufacturing Company. Today we're going to talk about listening devices. Listening devices are used for finding leaks in underground plumbing. And in order to use them, what we're doing first is we're pressurizing that leaking line with air, getting air to escape into water-saturated soil. It's making a good bubbling, gurgling sound that's actually being transmitted into vibrations in the ground that we can pick up with a listening device. At Anderson Manufacturing Company, we have three different types of listening devices available. The first one is a completely mechanical device called a geophone. Geophones are basically made up of two big brass sensing heads that act like big eardrums that are placed on the deck. Those are going to pick up the vibrations in the ground, transmit them directly to your ears through these rubber hoses and a stethoscope type earpiece. Geophones have been around for a long, long time. They've been very dependable and you'll find that they're extremely sensitive. That tends to be one of the problems that geophones have though, is that there's no means of controlling the volume and there's no means of controlling the frequency range that you're listening to. So sometimes you may hear a leak in a large area, but you have a difficult time pinpointing it to where the actual problem is. That problem is what the electronic listening devices that we have will solve. With an electronic listening device, like one of the Fisher units, either the XLT-17 or the XLT-30, you're electronically amplifying those sounds that you pick up underground. By electronically amplifying the sounds, you have some control over what you're hearing. You can control the volume, you can control what frequency range you're listening to, and you can actually see how loud that signal is by looking at a meter that's on the face of each of these units. We have found that Fisher does the best job of manufacturing a device that's specifically suited to the challenges of the swimming pool leak detection professional. And that's because they do a good job of housing their microphones inside a rubber boot that muffles out all of the outside noises you're going to see it here when you're at a pool. Here we can hear insects, we might hear the next door neighbor's air conditioner or the, the person nearby cutting the grass. With the muffled microphone, we're able to muffle out those sounds because of this rubber boot. And the microphone itself is making direct contact with the pool deck, picking up the sounds underground, but eliminating those outside noises. Now the big difference between the XLT-17 and the XLT-30 has to do with the way the microphones are set up. Both of the devices have about the same sensitivity and same ability to filter out sounds. But you're going to find that you're using the listening device either to find leaks that are in plumbing that's underneath the pool deck, or that plumbing may run underneath grass or gravel. Each device is going to give you the ability to listen through the concrete pool deck with a microphone like this, or you're going to want to push probes into the ground to pick up the vibrations when you can't do so with direct contact. With the XLT-17, you're going to use what's called a, a multi-sensor. This device is called a multi-sensor. And this microphone that was used for the pool deck will be screwed into a handle. And then the same microphone will be used with the probes that can be pushed into the ground. So it's a very versatile system that gives you the benefit of the electronic amplification with one piece of equipment. With the XLT-30, we're able to listen through the concrete deck with this big rubber boot that's a little bit more heavy duty than the multi-sensor on the XLT-17. In addition, there's a rigid handle that's attached to this as well, so that as you do maybe take your hands off of the uh, microphone to adjust the controls on the amplifier, the handle will stay where it is, whereas with the XLT-17, you may have to reach down and grab that uh, that handle again. But there are two separate microphones with the XLT-30. The one for listening through the concrete deck as well as a probe microphone. So instead of adapting one for both situations, you'll choose to either use the deck microphone, the big foot, or you'll remove the input cable and plug into the ground probe. The benefit to this is that each of these microphones is better suited for the particular application and it ends up being a little bit more robust and durable system. So if you are going to be using your leak detector every day basis, you'll benefit from the XLT-30. If you really just want to get the benefits of electronic amplification and you anticipate using your device several times a year, the XLT-17 may be a good choice for you.
Both the XLT17 and the XLT30 can also be used with an optional microphone called a hydrophone. The hydrophone is a microphone that can go underwater. So you can use it to check suspect locations in the structure of the pool and actually hear the sound of water escaping from the leak. Or it can be used to listen through the pool wall if the pool wall tends to be the closest distance between a pressurized plumbing line rather than listening through the concrete depth. One advantage to the XLT30 is that we've had Fisher specially designed units that they manufacture for us to pick up the frequency ranges that are especially valuable when you're listening for a loop with the hydrophone.